Kelly, no, I have to go to work for the words, for this words for you. If I have to put on my health in the force, it ain't all for you. Okay, so if you're here to learn how to make a pango cut the right way, stay tuned. Here are our recipes. We have our water yam, our cocoa yam, our green leaves, our vegetable leaves, have our crayfish. We have our seasoned meat with our stockfish and kanda all together here. And we have our palm oil, our seasoning cubes, our periwinkle, our fish. So now we are going to greet the kukoyam and watayam like this. So this is what you get. So here I'm going to add some seasoning cubes and pepper this is so i'm doing this so you will not have to eat the lumps and it will be tasteless because you're eating you can enjoy it as well so i'm going to mix everything up together with my hands and please if this is your first time using kukoyama and what i am together make sure you apply palm oil on your palms so that they won't itch you because kukoyam usually itches exactly I'm going to keep that aside and um, I'm going to apply some palm oil into my empty pots. Okay, so this is it. I'll add my infi into that. Sure to spread it okay so now look exactly and see how tiny is at least it's upside down and then we'll add that and roll it over and we drop it into the pot i'm going to arrange that in that manner one after the other and besides i'm going to do some um some of the grated what i am and cookie and beside a little I'll tell you about that when we get to that so this is it I'm going to I'll show you my green leaves so this is it I'm going to pluck out this time mm -hmm. and this and that So now I'm done with that, and I have my pan in the pot. I've added my onion, so I'm going to add the remaining. Add my crayfish, crayfish powder, I'll add my seasoning cubes. And mind you, while this is why I'm seasoning this, my water is already on fire boiling. I'm already boiling water in the kettle, so I add my pepper. Okay, so now I'm going to add the hot water. I'm going to add my hot water and shake it. I will hold the sides of the pot and shake. I'm not going to put stick inside. I'm going to add more water because the water is not enough. So this is going to be close to perfect. Okay, so I'm going to shake that up again and put it on fire. Then I'll add the remaining. I'll add the remaining um this thing. Eggplant I've already done. The grated watayam and kokoya. So when you're doing your eggplant, it is advisable to do this so that you can get sauce 
that is if you enjoy eating eggplant and you're having salt instead of just chewing the lump throughout the food so this is my dry fish i am going to season it the normal way by adding my seasoning cubes water a little palm oil and so oh, this is it it's ready i'm going to keep that aside i'm going to keep that aside for now so this is my eggplant i've allowed it to cook for a while and for about 30 minutes and i came to check it out and turn it so this is what it is for now mm -hmm, mm -hmm. can you see that the pan? so nice i wish i can give it a survey but then you can still go and try it out so i'm going to add my seasoned goat meat and my periwinkle is in there my kanda my stock fish i usually add stock fish into my pan because it gives it a very nice flavor and taste as well so i'm going to turn that all up and allow it to cook for a while So I'm going to test here to know if everything is okay. I did not add a number of seasoning cubes because of my meat that already had some seasoning in them, so it won't be too much. So since I tasted and everything was okay, I'm going to make it a little bit tastier because when I add my vegetables, um, the taste, um, your egg, the eggplant seems to lose taste, like sort of the vegetable sucks out the taste, something like that exactly. So when I'm making that, I used to make the eggplant a little bit tastier than it should be. So I add my scent leaves and my vegetable and the ugu leaves actually. So I'm going to turn all that together. And mind you, don't forget that the dry fish already has seasoning cubes as well. So in this stage, even if it is not so tasty, I will still be okay because I'm going to add my dry fish inside. But if it was too tasty, I won't add the water of the dry fish. But since it was okay, I'm going to add the dry fish and the water. Okay, since my palm oil is not enough, I tied in the vegetables. I seem to have lost a lot of palm oil for the color of the food. So I'm going to add, I added a little bit more. So I'll turn that all up together. And I let it cook for a while. I let the oil cook for a while. Okay, so I've added my dry fish now. But since um, the eggplant is missing a little taste, I also added the water of the dry fish. It's actually important for me to add it anyway, so here it is. My eggplant is ready. Tell us what you think about this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you. Can you see that deliciousness? Eggplant cocoa ready.